Hello and welcome to another one of my top tips for new musicians. Today I'm out on the road once again. This time I've been visiting Hastings and did a gig and I've been doing more and more by train and I thought well let's make this edition about what do you need to gig and I always say you need a grab bag so that at any moment if the phone rings a nightclub isn't going to ever be able to function without music. Um, and same with the live music venue, you know, it's all very well having bar staff and bouncers there and a manager, um, but if the place is absolutely silent, they aren't going to succeed. So what do you need to actually gig? Um, for me, well, I tour around with this, it's always packed. Here's the thing, never borrow from your kit bag. It's all very well knowing that I've got a three and a half mil jack in here, and then uh, you end up plugging it in the back of your TV into your sound system but no good when you get a phone call from a nightclub at 11 o'clock at night going our DJ hasn't shown up um, and you suddenly get there to get them out of the lurch and you go god I've left it in the back of my telly so yeah it's always expensive obviously having two of everything but also at the same time stuff breaks all the time so it does mean you've got a backup so um, yeah I always make sure that I've got two of everything and the one never ever leaves this bag so for me I carry my notes with me I carry all sorts of connectors XLRs phonos um, anything that can connect anything to any device you're like this some request cards they're actually business cards but they're more subtle way of promoting your brand um, for me I've got a laptop stand um, an interconnector you can plug anything into absolutely anything um, you're like this um, big sparkler, why not? Um, tambourine, who doesn't want to annoy everyone else on the train by playing the tambourine? Um, and then I've got my mixer underneath here. In fact, I'm not going to take it all out, but I've got loads of padding in here because sometimes, here's a top tip as well, um, if you go to a place that is really, really bassy, it can interfere with your equipment. So sometimes putting it down on a padded piece of uh, foam can stop all of that. Yeah, I've got an inflatable so I guess why wouldn't you? Um, and then more USBs. The mixer's here, let me show you. So yeah, I keep a mixer in here. Um, always know your equipment. Um, it's easy just to travel around everywhere and use theirs um, if there's an industry standard, but you'll find that you'll play in a variety of places. And yes, there are industry standards, but more often than not, someone will not have what you use to perform. Um, front of the bag, I mean, this I know always only applies to DJs. You need headphones, never borrow these. <sighs> Take some backup headphones with you as well. Um, microphone. Um, hey, there is a fancy little thing. These things, you can get them really cheap on the internet. Turns any microphone into a radio mic. And the other end, plug that in. Simple, turn them both on, voila. Um, yeah, get those on the internet, very, very good. Um, and it means you can use your really nice mics um, wherever and bring a pen. So that's pretty much it. So I would say keep that by your front door, keep it if you can in the glove box, keep it where with the spare wheel. And it you know this doesn't just apply to DJs, it applies to anyone making music. Um, if you've got something ready to go, I mean I did a whole year. I was doing a, a residency five days a week and uh, the manager moved on, they revamped the place, turned it into a food pub and suddenly all my work went. Um, and I did a whole year's worth of just doing last minute gigs. Um, on top of that, if you're prepared to travel a bit further, bring an overnight bag. Now for me, my overnight bag has got everything from your toothbrush, bring an electric, <laughs> there's no point in scribbling and saving when you're out on the road. I've got my deodorant in here, I've got some plasters, I mean, you, and that's the thing, is you never know when you're going to get ill, so make sure you bring some medication, you know, for me I've got um, ibuprofen, I've got um, stomach tablets, I've got uh, painkillers, um, and a European health insurance card, I'm not even sure if that's still valid, but there you go. Um, stuff your hair, toothpaste, um, again, don't borrow from this bag. You go, oh, you know what, I'm out of to, um, toothpaste. Um, so it'll only catch you out when you're out on the road. Um, obviously, charger, all of that. Um, so I think that's the thing. Identify what it is that you need when you go out and about. 
and never ever borrow from that. Whether that's your overnight bag and this can apply to any profession, whether it's your gigging bag um, and having two of everything also means that one day you're going to get home and go and go, I only just managed to scrape by doing that gig because XYZ wasn't really working. Fine, throw it out, use the one from home, buy a new one from home. Um, so yeah, that's my top tips of this week.